So Minister as Governor of our capital city, I want to thank you and your team for initiating this forum. Papua New Guinea, I think you will all agree with me, is blessed with a level of biodiversity only matched by the diversity of its people. We will continue to help Papua New Guinea achieve its environmental and sustainable development aspirations. SIBA is expected to achieve the following outcomes as a result of this uh, forum. Uh, we want to create an avenue uh, that enables uh, practitioners, researchers, academic, private sector, uh, donors, local communities who have managed and supported protect the areas in PNG to come to this forum and share their experiences. This forum is essential to achieving this collective vision and help Papua New Guinea combat the impact of climate change and habitat loss. Successful protected area management can only work if the experience at the local level informs the policy and decisions at the national level. We at the national level depend on your experience. We depend on your experience and knowledge to guide planning decisions. Each of our panel sessions now over the next day and a half will be focused in turn on each of the five pillars. For each of these panel sessions we will have one facilitator and the facilitator will invite their four or five panelists that represent different sections or stakeholder groups within the conservation community. After the panel discussion we will then take questions from the floor and we'll try and take them in groups of two and then take questions from those participating over Zoom again in, in sections of two. Okay, our main challenge has been our traditional governance system and the LLG, there is a missing link. And so we've been working together to get the chiefs to work together with the government. And we will continue to do this and we are looking forward and we can see bright future and exciting work for our communities. Um, one of the important principles of um, undertaking livelihood activities which um, we have identified or Lookout and Ground program have identified is um, understanding the local context through culture and economic situation of the current um, geographies that are going to be um, benefit, beneficiaries to look out in ground project. As uh, articulated very well by Maxine here, in our communities we, we grew up knowing that girls are entitled to certain roles while boys are also entitled to certain roles and responsibilities. And that's how we were brought up. And it more so affects the way we interact with each other. And these are all like preconditioned and unconscious biases that people have. The approach that CARE is taking with us right now is to make a referral networks. So if we do have cases where we come up in, in, in our communities in terms of women facing uh, gender-based violence, then we're able to make referrals as well so they can seek help. It's only a matter of us working closely with government agencies, private sector, mobilizing the community to impact on sustainable livelihood, the income earning generations that will work 
very closely with uh, conservation and in end we can protect the environment and sustain the livelihood of the people as well as uh, income earning uh, opportunities for the people. When we talk about sustainable development, um, that's actually looking at the different resource management roles or options that have been um, already been practiced by our communities. It's just for our uh, national legislative um, policies and legislation to um, adapt that so that we can formalize it and make it become something that we can also share with other countries on how to um, manage our resources in the long term. Yeah. Um, the environment essentially means everything to people and I think all of us when we go back to the village whether we live in town whether we've traveled in other provinces whether we've gone everywhere when you go back to your own place the sights of that place the sounds of that place the memories that it brings to you always seem to touch your heart and I think that's the important thing that if you go home and suddenly everything's changed and then your heart will miss a beat because you'll suddenly realize that home is not the place that you remember it to be. And I don't mean that we remain and live in the past. We always have to move forward and look towards the future. But we always have to look at positive change and try to overcome uh, any negative impacts that might happen in our, in our communities. Doing protection work is a government business and not necessarily a private sector business. So we are here to uh, facilitate for the people. So the government currently is working through the programs to see if we could have um, a biodiversity and climate fund set up. And we believe that fund, um, if we can um, raise a lot of funds, we can be able to support the protected areas through a small grant arrangement to start off with. And also where appropriate, they could be given um, grants to help them develop their own livelihoods.